Welcome back to another Muskrat Tuck Warzone video. This one we got a pretty special one. Managed to rack up 12 kills, which is one of my higher kill wins so far this season. It was a pretty great one. Had some nice sniping plays. Maybe <laughs> a couple close calls. I'm glad I survived. Anyways, if you want to like and subscribe, as always, that'd help out the channel. Hitting that bell icon will also let you know if there's any videos coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. It was pretty fun to play. Pre hopefully pretty interesting. Anyways, let's catch you on Verdansk. probably sound like a broken record at this point, but you know where we're dropping, dropping in the boneyard. As always, trying to get a scavenger, they really help out your early game, getting your load out. Drop here with no resistance, able to pick it up pretty quick, which sets me up for a pretty good early game. As always, keep listening to that announcer, say somebody's coming, so I pop my dead silence and try to locate where he is. As I'm coming up this way, I hear him to the right, and able to turn without him hearing me. Take him out easily. One thing you might not know is Dead Silence continues after you get a kill, which allows me to rotate on this guy and take him out, still being silent. Contract updated. New objective identified. After grabbing this bounty, I heard a little motion, which causes me to stop and pre-aim. Not the best angle, but I'm already aiming down sights, which allows me to take them out with not taking too much damage. Currently, the loadout I've been using is the Car 98 and the AK-47. Grab that from the loadout with overkill. So the next goal is to try to get Ghost, but I use my UAV to hunt down this guy. Why I like getting these bounty contracts is it gives almost like a portable UAV and highlights an area. They know you're coming, but it lets you know where people are. Uh, I had previously known this guy was going to cross. I'm not sure why I didn't react to any of these snipes, though. I kept this part in because it's pretty interesting to see how much damage you actually take when riding one of these lighter cars. Luckily, I'm able to weave through, get my health regen, and able to play it up before falling victim to some of those shots. Pretty early on, somebody rotated into this fire station that I'm camping in. The heartbeat shows he's still here. What I didn't realize at the time was somebody on, was on this other building. I take shots, and then they call a precision airstrike on me. Enemy precision airstrike, take cover! By calling this in and taking shots, I knew exactly where they were, so after making sure I dodged the planes coming by, I locate where they are on this other building off to the Enemy UAV east. Overhead. Airstrike target designated. Seemed like such a good idea when he did it, after sniping at him and downing him, I send my own airstrike at him and it takes him out with no problem. This does leave me the guy that's been below me this whole time, that's my only concern after this. Audio cues and a quick heartbeat reveals his position. I go for a cheeky thermite here and totally miss, but decide the AK will do just fine taking him out. After taking him out, I decide to rotate. As, of course, I made a ton of noise. This is where it gets a little sketchy. One building I did not check was the building to the left. So as I'm running, I'm trying to avoid it. But unfortunately, I go down here. Luckily, the angle he has just barely not enough to let me self-revive and survive this harrowing adventure. Once healing, I enter the building and climb to the top. There happened to be somebody camping up there, so I scope in. He crawls by while I'm silent, so he doesn't know I'm up here. But since he doesn't know, he's not looking this way as he peeks another target. Turn the left. Keep the pressure on. Mm. 
as always, be watching for extra bullets. As I pop up on the side, I see a bullet flying across the screen, so I look across and notice the guy's oh, rotating in. I unfortunately missed those shots on the guy rotating on the side, but because I hear people, I know that camping on top of this roof is a good call. The way the swarm's positioned, there's none of this building that's going to be in, so we'll force whoever was fighting below me to come up through this doorway. Knowing this information, I position above the doorway so they don't know I'm here, which leads to this cheeky kill. When looking at the remaining playable area, I know I have the most cover by these cargo containers. It also means half the map is forced on the other side, giving me a good opportunity to snipe. I know there's only three people left at this point, so I'm trying to identify where everyone is. Knowing that this guy's over here, I feel pretty safe. Unfortunately, I missed my snipes, but use this opportunity to make sure I'm in the circle. Unfortunately, I missed so many snipes on this guy, which I could have easily downed him while he was crossing that bridge, but he had some lucky slides. By this positioning, I know I'm the farthest out, and since he's already engaging with the other player, I know where the last two guys are, so I'm in a power position, knowing where both people are. I take this opportunity to take out the other guy and rotate up. I know he was at the back, and you see right on the minimap he called in the airstrike. I had assumed that he would be down these stairs, so I positioned accordingly, trying to make sure I'm aiming at the stairs, but I didn't realize he was on the right. Luckily, I turned just in the nick of time to take him out and take the victory. And that's a 12 kill game. One of the highest I've had all season, especially for a win. I really enjoyed this one, lots of great snipes, unfortunately those last couple ones in the game didn't look very good and made me a little upset, but that's okay. Um, a big special shout out to Ogre, one of my biggest fans, hopefully you're enjoying the content, we'll make sure it's keeping up. We'll get some more videos up in the next few days, anyways, hope you enjoy it, have a good one. Good game, good game. Have a good one, man.